By the way, uh, thanks for helping me wash the car. <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. Maybe you help me next week. What do you think? So me and Todd stopped by the recruitment center today. What? For a six pack and some porn, what do you think we went there for? Brian, I thought you were over that shit. Last time we talked. Last time we talked, you, you said were you were gonna... doing the talking, not me. Real fucking heart to heart, Dad. What do you think the army's gonna do for you? Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll teach me a few things that I can't learn on my own. Besides, things are different since you were in the service. The way it goes these days, I'll probably end up getting paid for mending fences at some military unit far away from all the action. Uh, yeah. Tell that to those boys in Iraq. Oh, spare me. You know what, Brian? You know that line's going to be real ineffective when you're up to your ass in sand and camel spiders with an Iraqi pointing a gun at your head. And very dramatic, Dad, but I can handle myself. All oh, right, I forgot. Brian, what would it take to change your mind? A fucking miracle. Light that, you're gonna go right out the window with Jesus it. Jesus Christ. So this is what I can expect, just because for once I'm not bending over for you. Ladies and gentlemen, my father, the Surgeon General. Watch your mouth! You know, your mother might not care if you talk like that, but I'm your father, like it or not. And believe me, my friend, you ain't past the age yet where I won't think about kicking your ass. Ooh. You think you got it all figured out, huh? Enlist, spend a little time saluting, scrubbing floors, maybe even get to fire off a few weapons. And then come home to that big fucking parade. Is that what you think it is? All glory? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, my friend, but chances are you're going to be put right out there in that firing line, watching your friends die. And if you're lucky, and you don't get shot to shit, you don't lose some body parts, it's where you're going to stay. And life is a lottery, Brian. And if you don't win, you die. Or end up wishing you had. Did you hear me? Well, it's kind of hard not to, isn't it? Look, I'll be 18 in two months, so you better get used to treating me like an adult. Act like one, and I'll treat you like oh, one. one. You remember all those questions you used to ask me about my time in Vietnam? You remember asking me about all those guys in the photographs to make them easier to forget? There's a reason for that, you know. Look, it's what I want, all right? So you wouldn't understand, would you? I wouldn't understand. It's priceless, Brian. I lived through it. I've been through the kind of hell you and your buddies only see in the movies. Would you think you got it all figured out? Then the hell with it. 
Do what you want to do. You want to be stupid? Be stupid. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. Oh, so I'm stupid now because I'm not doing what you want for me? Because I'm not going to be a, a, an all-star quarterback or a lawyer or some fucking suit stuck in an office staring at the walls wondering what happened to his life? Jesus Christ, Dad, you lived your life and you made your decisions. So do me a favor, let's not sit here and pretend like I'm your second chance of success just because you were a fuck up.